Hello and welcome to the TrainerWise Daily Show. On today's episode, we're discussing the soft tissue therapy method called ART or active release techniques. Hey, this is a call out to all strength coaches and trainers out there. If you would like to share your views on a given topic, uh, just go to trainerwise.com. Uh, fill out the contact form. Tell us the topic that's of interest to you, and we'll get you on as soon as possible. We're filling up shows at the moment, currently taking guest speakers. So please do take the time now uh, to contact us there, and we'll get you on. We were talking about something really extreme, CrossFit. And we were talking about how there's two different sides Kind of, you know, there's this extreme side. People are crossfitting, working out really intense, and it's kind of taking over the, the nation to some degree. And then you have this other side that's saying, no, we need to focus on recovery. Um, but let me ask that first question to you, Elizabeth. Um, what, what is the intention of ART? The intention, from my understanding, my personal experience, is it's what happens with a lot of muscle overuse, basically, is we create a lot of adhesions and scar tissues. Right. So that entraps the nerves and prevents a mobility where the soft tissue should move as they should. So the ART method gets in there and breaks that up. You have specific movements while applying a certain, um, depending on the tissue, pressure and work during that specific move to break all that up so you can have that mobility, so you can have the freedom of movement that you should, that we're designed to have. Right, and I, and I think the, um, in all fairness to, um, gosh, I forget his name, he's going to be on here soon, the MAT guy, um, I know their approach is more about like, no, don't get in there, and uh, I'll let him you know, speak from that perspective. But in as far as your experience with it, because you said you've had therapy with this uh, ART method, uh, what has your experience been? Well, and I continue to do so. It has been a miracle worker, and mm -hmm. I am not exaggerating. When I was... Um, I have, I've got tons of issues because of the way that I train, and I don't want to change the way I train at this point. So I'm very type A in my training, if you will. And so um, I have complete shoulder impingement where I couldn't even stir cake batter. I have total mobility. Now, is it pain-free? No, I'll probably never be totally pain-free because I'm not going to change the way I work out. It has prevented... Um, Two weeks ago, I tweaked my low back in one of the classes I was teaching. I called, got me in. They're doing Graston and ART on my low mm. back. Take me up. Voila, new back. So it literally has been a miracle worker for me and being able to continue to train the way that I want to train. Yeah, which I think is a big deal for people because if you think about it, um, a lot of people out there are limited by their abilities to, to you know, uh, to function without pain, you know. Yeah. You know, I know some people they can't play basketball without pain, and there's a, depending on your issue. I mean, obviously, if it's a, a joint thing and not a muscular thing, that's a different thing right. to uh, consider. But um, soft tissue therapy has just been like, there's not a trainer out there in the gym that you're working at. I work in a private training studio where everybody kind of does their own thing, and everybody's in there with elbows and knees and like, how you feeling? Oh, let me let me just put some pressure here, and there's a lot of how do you say not? I don't want to say non-scientific. Who's, who's to say you know what they're referencing and as far as their, you know, the therapy that they're providing? But it seems that it's very uh, prevalent out there. It's it's out there a lot. Um, would you say this should be a part of like everybody's workout program, or is it just for people who are like let's say intense like yourself? Okay, and I know there are going to be several schools of thought yeah. on that, but I do try to encourage. Okay, say you're, you're going to pay to play one way or the other. If you're sedentary, that's my philosophy. If yeah. you're sedentary, you pay to play. Yeah. But if you're active, you pay to play. So I really encourage all my clients and the participants in my classes, if they have issue and it's muscular, it's right. soft tissue stuff, it's, it's um, not high risk, to get in with and get some ART and start breaking up some of that stuff, especially if you're over 40 or over 30 mm. and you have a history of a lot of overuse from whatever sports or activities that you've done, it will develop. And some people create more scar tissue than others. But I, I, you know, I am a proponent just because I've seen it in the practice that I'm involved with. And then personally, now all my kids go and have had it done. My older son had to have an AC repairment and he's having ART on that shoulder and Graston on that as well. And so mm -hmm. he's now gotten the green light where he can go back to rock climb. So I swear by it. Yeah, you know what? Um... <clears throat> I think that, 
like I said, I think every person in the gym does it, but I don't know what the general public is. I'm talking about people who have personal trainers. You know, the personal trainers will say, yeah, you need this. You have to do this. How widespread is it out there for the people who, let's say the average CrossFitter who doesn't maybe have a one-on-one -on -one trainer, who maybe just has, you know, is a gym member, goes to classes, part of maybe small group classes, but doesn't necessarily have, uh, um, you know, uh, or even a person who's at home and does videos. Do you think people out there who are the average exercise enthusiast, or maybe let's say they get motivated and they work out three times, three months out of the year, and it's not their regular routine, they're not an athlete per se, they're not a, you know, a person who's regularly involved. Do you think the average person out there uh, is involved in some kind of recovery, soft tissue, uh, a method? You know, I don't think so. I'm surprised how many people haven't heard of ART outside of my world. You know, so, so often, like what we do, we surround ourselves with people like ourselves yeah, and then exactly. we get out of our world. And like what you were saying, they're not aware of all that's out there to help equip them to be better at what they do. Right. So I don't know. I don't think there are a lot of people that have the knowledge of it. So that's why, I mean, I really try to let as many people as I know. I heard about it through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. My Dr. Scott and Dr. Jack, Elite Sports and Spine, they're huge in the Ironman, triathlete, and marathon world. And coming from strength and conditions, it's like our people need you. And so it's word of mouth that I heard about them, you know, and other athletes that I would be around in yoga or, or training at gyms. So I don't think so, which is sad because I don't know how to get that message out there unless they're around you know other professionals that know about it yeah I think that's true because you think a lot of people uh, equated to uh, massage and then maybe from that view which it's not that far off but people I think sometimes see that as like a pleasurable thing a thing you Ugh. do when you're on vacation or like well Ugh. not that type of massage but I'm just saying that People are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go get a massage. I'm going to the spa, you know. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to go with the girls, and, and we're going to get, you know, our shoulders rubbed and uh, paraffin yeah. wax or something like yeah. that. Um, I, I don't know that some people are like, I don't need a massage. We're talking about I just go to work. That's what I do. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I, I think sometimes people do <clears throat> see it as something that's not necessary. Yeah. But it's more of a, like, a, you need that if. And, and then maybe when you're injured, you probably consider it a little differently. You're probably like, so what will it do? It'll help me yeah. have less pain. So I think it's probably injury that brings it to people's minds. Yeah. Um, I think that <clears throat> educating the young people, um, you know, all the teenagers right now, all the people you train, all the people I train, as those people filter out in the world, I think the message will start to get out. And then before you know it, everybody, everybody will be singing the same song. Right. Uh, yeah, of course you got to have some recovery. Yeah, we're just oh, we're going to do a recovery workout today or we're just going to do this. Um, we're going to go 40 minutes here, then we're going to go spend the next 20 minutes over here doing this. Um, right. I think, I think, I think it'll happen down the road. I don't, I like you, I don't think it's really, um, widely known by the general public as of now, but I hope maybe even this conversation gets out there and people say, what the heck is that AR? What do you even stand for? And yeah. they get out there and they get after it. And art. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't need no art. Now we already got <laughs> pictures on the wall. I got art on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, exactly. It's a short one, um, Miss Andrews. Uh, thank you for coming on and discussing ART. Um, when we when we kind of have a collection, you know, the NMT, the MAT guy, and we kind of have them all battle out like a battle royale roundtable. You know, if I bring you on, you can just you know uh, Ooh, I'll provide I'll your you. pieces. No, I will. All and right, super cool. Not spa like I'll tell you that right now. I tell people it's like sports massage on crack. It hurts. <laughs> painful huh it is very painful i get very bruised it looks like i've been beaten it's like it's not my husband i promise <laughs> exactly or sometimes you gotta tell your husband no nah, i really was working out it was just the, yeah. i had a little therapy yeah. after I swear yeah I swear anyhow um thanks for coming on miss andrews and uh thank you everybody for watching thanks show me a good time oh yeah oh yeah show me a good show me a good show me a good time I'm, I'm, I'm.